Good. All righty. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to our live sneak peek kind yes. of, of showing you what is brand new coming from Hoffman California Fabrics. Yes. So these are, these are four panels. Amazing. Super cool. We're going to show you the panels, some threads that go with them, and then show you two of them that were actually quilted out. So we're going to show you all about it. They are super cool, right? I know. They're absolutely beautiful. We are looking at, um, I guess we're so excited. Yeah, we are. I know we got people in the studio, the, our tech people are like, okay, slow down, breathe. <laughs> this is just so exciting, y'all. I don't think we've ever had the opportunity to have advanced prints no. sent to us before. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a true honor. Um, to be able to quilt them up and uh, give you a sneak peek of what they look like because exactly. they are absolutely stunning yeah. and able to work with the pattern designer to create a pattern that would really go well with it yes. as well and yeah yeah so that was super fun so let's um well let's talk a little bit about the name of the panels show the panels and the threads that we decided that would probably work good with them right um and but before we do that let's give a shout out again to hoffman california fabrics Ooh, thank you hoffman for uh, donating these uh preprints so mm -hmm. that way we could be able to show the public so we could quilt them out and see how amazing they are and we also want to thank phil tech happen yes. for donating the glide that we used on the tube that we showed so awesome threads you're going to see the different glides that will go with these panels yes um so and then i've got one more shout out to oh, give right. <laughs> we have one more shout out to give um i also want to give a shout out to joyce lundergan and joanne knight um, Joyce Lundergan and Joanne have a club um, that's called Skill Builders yes. and they, uh, Joyce is the one that came up with all the patterns for this. Now this panel um, was something that she had found on Hoffman's website when, I, when she was actually looking for the Dream Big Dance panel. Yes. So she came across this and she sent me a text and she said, Corey, when are these coming? Because we need them. <laughs> and I'd never seen them before. We, they had yeah. just hit the market. COVID was happening, so yeah. it was hard to get everything. Yeah. So I reached out to Hoffman, and we got things moving from there. But Joyce did an amazing job with these patterns, and they are digital formats available in all quilting formats on her website. Yes. Um, that link is in the description below. So thank you, Joyce, for yeah, starting this whole see, thing. Especially at the end. Make sure you stay to the end. We have a beautiful yeah. something to show you at the something end. Something really, really cool to show you at the end and draw going to drop. Yep. Wish I could see all of your reactions. <laughs> I know, That's right? Okay, Alrighty. let's show this panel. I think so. Okay. <laughs> no, everything, yeah, it's good, yeah. Oh, our studio thinks everything's just kind of iffy right now. We're okay. all just so hyping. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look. I'm going to move this out of the way, and we are going to take a look at this first panel. So these are called the Dream Big Ethereality. Yeah, I panel. can't say that one. Dream big ethereality. Ethereality. There you so go. So if you call us, just say the ones you saw on YouTube. Facebook, <laughs> ethereality. Yeah, we've got dream big ethereality. So with this ethereality panel, this one is called Paradise. And this is one of the ones that I actually had the amazing honor to quilt up. I love how this, each of these little sections have a different range of color. And the way they blend together is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it looks like flames. It's very abstract. It's absolutely gorgeous how it was done. So let's take a look at the threads that we used to quilt it up. Alrighty. So, so we got it over here. Do yep. you want to just take them, start from the center? All right. Um, so I used five different threads from Glide, and I used them twice as I worked out. Because the way these patterns were designed to quilt uh, the original quilt, it is quilted in 10 different rounds is how, the way she describes it. So I started in the center with a um, really bright neon pink. It's called Hope from Glide 90812. That one started in the center. Then I moved out to this blue section right here. And this blue one I wanted to use Tar Hill. Oh, losing my wrapper there. <laughs> Tar Hill. And this one's 90278. Um, and that one hit very, very nicely here. I moved on from there to use the... Did I use actually? I'm thinking, I believe it was this yellow or the green. Pretty sure it was yellow. <laughs> it's so hard to remember actually now because it's in the other room. I was supposed to go look at it when I was working anyway, on we it. We can just show them both. Yeah, we'll show, we'll show them how you use it. Yeah. Um, we use citron yellow uh, 80809. Goodness. Um, I used chartreuse for the green. So that's 60802. And then my last one would be neon orange, which is 90811. All right, and I'm going to show a little bit closer yeah, for the color because it's a little farther out. I guess I could zoom too. Yeah, that one's fine. So that's this one. And the green. Uh -huh. 
And the funny thing about this, and you'll see these. Actually, you know, what, actually, I'm gonna save that for. I was like, no, I'll save that for. I'll save. Spill the secret. Save that. I can't. I can't use the secret yet. Yes, my yes. Can't use the secret yet. Um, so those are all the different glide threads that we used um, for the Dream Big Ethereality Paradise yes. channel. So it's right. this one right here. All right, jump to the next so one. So let's take a look at our next one in the lineup. So the next one is going to be Ethereality Prism. So that was the one that you saw hanging up behind us as well. I actually uh, quilted that one up. And for this one, I actually used one solid color across the entire piece. And I used a color called Bone. I really like Bone. If you've never had the opportunity to use it before, it picks up color like nobody's business. I, when Diana comes out and watches me quilt, she, she's surprised. She's like, you're, you're really using that on that color fabric? <laughs> it, it just eats up color, and it kind of just pulls it in with you. Yeah, and it so looks if you want to go with just, like one color, you don't want to yeah. do a lot of switching. You don't want to switch it out. You want one color bobbin. Yeah. You don't want to accidentally have the wrong bobbin in and the different top thread. Ask yeah. me how I know. Um, in there when you're working on it. Bone uh, 17443 is absolutely beautiful and it looks gorgeous across the whole thing. So we actually, let's show it on here. Yep. So I'm not sure, we might need to get a little closer. Um, I think actually, I'll pick it up and take it over there. Okay. Um, so we can show you what the, the how beautiful it quilted out and mm -hmm. then what the bone looks like on this one. All right, so we're going to move it down just a little bit. Oh, sorry, I'm That's tall. okay, you're tall. <laughs> and then kind of actually move it to side to side because you're close enough where they can see the amazing quilting. All right, and then you and then side back onto the other side and then lift it up. You can see how pretty that quilting is, a really close up of the quilt. And then we're, again, don't forget, we're going to show you the other one in a few minutes too. All right, beautiful. So the, these designs, they stitch out really, really fast. Um, and she, kind of, she gives you amazing instructions. These designs were actually designed to quilt a whole cloth. Um, you adapt them a little bit to fit the panel, which is really, really nice. Um, and they're just, uh, they're, 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 I don't want to send these back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to send them back at oh, all. Oh, they'll be excited to get them, though. They're so beautiful. I know. OK, so this one was Prism. This has that white negative space. We're going to move to the next one. This is Ethereality. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Let's take that thread off. Oh, yeah, little threads here and there. So you can see this one's more of a subdued version of Paradise. It definitely has those exact color ranges as you move through. You can see where the split is between the color, uh, and it helps you really determine how you want to put that color on. If you want to do one color overall, the whole thing, or if you would really like to separate those colors out. So let's see what we did to fix those up. So starting right. here in the center, what did we pick? We went with Canary. You can tell them the number. So we've got Canary 80123 right there in the center. And again, these are all glide threads that we're showing you to go with and that we picked out. I've got Tomato 70179. Um, then I'm moving on to Marine 92995. And then I've got, what'd you go after this? She did Key Lime, eight, uh, 90366, and then Viking, 42583. Yeah, and super pretty, all the colors. Yeah, really gorgeous. Do we have any questions? I know you're looking at the comments right now. Yeah, nothing yet, just everybody nothing just yet? looking. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the panel is uh, 43, 44 inches square. Okay. That's another good thing to throw. Yep. Um, no up, down, left, right, no right or wrong side, which is really nice. Um, and I'll show you a little bit closer to the colors while he's pulling. Just so you can kind of get an idea of how, when you're looking at the panel, how we pick those colors. Yeah. And if you've never had the chance to try Glide, we really recommend it. Glide's a really, really, really nice thread. Um, I use it in most of my quilting now, actually. Kind of started moving towards it. Lots of great threads. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move on to the last and final one, which is Diana's favorite. This is going to be Ethereality Dragonfly. Ooh, my colors. So in this Dragonfly one, you've got lime green, mint, a um, little bit of that Tar Heel color, actually, that we used in the very first panel. Um, it just these nice purples, lavenders, lilacs, uh, nice pretty, pretty blues. And it, this one looks really, really nice as well. Yes, yeah, so the colors that we picked with this one, 
we got so many different colors. And we got so many here. different <laughs> ones. I know we're trying to separate them all out. Yeah, and we tried to do a mo some that would match two different panels two. at one time to kind of yeah. keep you. So here in the center, when you're starting out in that early center, we've got Magic Mint 30317 right there in the center. Coming out to this next round, you're coming in with that chartreuse again. 60802 looked really nice in those sections. We come out to uh, Viking 42583 this next round, couple rounds actually. In the blue sections, uh, next round, maybe those radiating lines that you're doing, we've got the uh, 90278. And then coming off with a little bit more of a bold green on these green sections, you've got that 60355. So if yeah. that's what you, if you wanted to switch out those colors, you could. You could also go in with my go-to color of all colors. Y'all know this one, Bone. Yep. <laughs> bone is such, <laughs> it's such a one. good color, honestly. Well, if honestly. you look really close, you can see how it's pulling the purple. And then it's, it's getting it's a little bit for the green. And like it it's like that colors. gray. There's that gray out that you can get at the Home Depot or the Lowe's, the paint. <laughs> and that it, it, it depends on what color light is in the room. It changes colors with it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. You wanted to paint your house that color. Trust me. <laughs> I have to. Okay. Um, so that takes you again back to our overhead view of we've got Dragonfly. I'll show one more time. We'll wrap the room again. Dragonfly. Hummingbird is this one right here. All of these are available for pre-order on our website right now for August delivery. What's our website? Longarmsupplies.net. Yep. So that was Hummingbird. This is Prism. And then last but not least, my favorite one, which is Paradise. Super pretty, Just super like pretty. That. So y'all got to see Prism quilted up right behind us. But let's take you into the other room and let's see Paradise quilted up. So this is what you can look at this one as you have been, uh, just the regular panel as it is. But let's walk into the other room together and take a look at Paradise quilted up. So it's right there on the screen for us now. And this was the one where I switched out all those colors. So you've got different pieces going around in those rounds. But there's something so show, show stopping that we have to show you. So Diana, if you want to shut the door. So she's got that door shut. I'm going to grab a few things here. And we're going to hit these lights in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. So I've got a black light on this. Uh, the glide threads that I chose for these were black light activated. Um, but you can see that it's just absolutely stunning yeah and the camera doesn't even do it It doesn't justice. do it justice at yeah. all just imagine it being like a hundred times better than what you're seeing on the camera right now it is so gorgeous those black light activated lights that we used from the glide line just turned out so pretty correct now always remember these are black light activated they are not glow in the dark so please keep that in mind absolutely beautiful well, and you can really, really see the pattern. So this is really a good one to kind of back up and see what the pattern collection is going to look like. Right. And like, so the camera doesn't even do it justice, y'all. No. So, so, so pretty. Another shout out again to Joyce for the patterns. Absolutely stunning job, Joyce. All right. Well, let's get this camera set back where it needs to go. And Diana can turn on the lights so I can see where it needs to go. <laughs> that would help. There we go, just like that. Well, do you want to actually, let's take the camera and get a little bit closer. We can see um, without the black light, what it would look like just with the colors that you chose. For sure. Let's pop up and take a look. And then we'll take it out and show you the white one as well up close now that we have. So just working around. Some swag border right there with the pearls. I just absolutely love, love, love this so much. I don't want, I'm tearing up. I don't want to send it back. Well, you're sending it for a good cause. I'm it? sending it for a good cause. It gets to go with Hoffman. Yep. So there's that one just like that. So let's go back to that overhead view of our camera. Preview to program. This one right here? That's preview to program. It's not a touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you see how somebody else do this? Sorry. Uh, it's different. There you go. All right, so we're going back to our overhead view of that uh, panel again. And this one, like we said, that one was paradise. Um, really, 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 really pretty. 
on there. So let's walk back out here to our space and get you a little bit of a closer view of this one. There we go. So kind of get you to the side so you can see the dimension and the quilting. Tried to. And this was all just using one thread color. This was using that bone on this one. So they're asking you how many hours did it take you to quilt one? If I would have actually had time to sit here and actually do it all at one time, it was probably the first one was about five to six hours. The second one was about three to four, once I really understood the, the side of it and how it really works and how you do it. Uh, the most tedious part would be the lines right here, the radiating lines to do the fill um, in that section. That was probably my most tedious part, but these patterns quilt out so fast. I was done with this whole center section probably within one or two hours, maybe, if that. Mm -hmm. But it's when I got to those outer edges to do those radiating lines and that swag border to make sure that panel was staying straight. That's where most of my time came in. Okay, fun, fun. Okay. Yep. So, let's back up. Just so you can get a one more overall of there that. There you go. Yeah, I was going to want to do a little bit back up. There we go. So, just one more of that overall. So we had a question, is there glow-in-the-dark thread that you could use? There is glow-in-the-dark thread. It's like usually one color, one or two colors, but it would definitely, it would take a little bit longer to stitch out. It's a little more fragile of a thread. Yeah, um, it's called, yeah. there's one called Night Light that we carry by Superior. Yeah. Really nice thread, it is glow-in-the-dark, um, light activated. It has to, it has to heat uh, or warm up basically yeah, is what it's called, yeah. quote unquote. I um, mean, it glows really well. Uh, but Night Light, you will have to slow the machine down a little bit. Yeah, A um, little yep. bit, definitely. Um, and do you want to talk about the batting you put in here? Yes, awesome. Yeah, it's actually another good idea. Um, so the battings, my batting brand of choice is always going to be Hobbs. Yep. Love Hobbs batting. Yeah. So the bottom layer that I put in, which would be Linda's Choice, it's a batting that we uh, that Hobbs makes specifically for us. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's 100% cotton with a scrim, so it's nice and heavy, and yeah. it gives it really nice shape. Yes. Um, and then on top of it, I used a Tuscany wool. Mm -hmm. uh, wool, reason being, one, I wanted a little bit of loftiness in those certain sections. But two, wool doesn't have a memory for creases. So when this goes off to Hoffman, mm -hmm. they can fold it up and open it, fold up, open it, fold up, and open it, and it's gonna always have that nice, beautiful, flat finish. So did you have a hard time keeping it square? Or was it, I mean, See, you would, you would think having those two layers of batting, it would be difficult. But the way Joyce thought out to do this, it was all about basting. Okay. So I had to baste this entire thing down in multiple quadrants before I could even get started. Yeah. And you'll see that in those instructions if you get the pattern set, JoyceLunderAgain.com. It's down in the um, description below. But I had a straight line basting through here, down the sides, on my 45s, all of that. But that's what helped me keep everything nice and square, nice and straight. And I'm not going to lie to you, quilting on a panel is never super easy when you're trying to give it a whole cloth look. Yeah. So be prepared. It's going to be something that you have to you know, ease yourself into. Don't get frustrated with it. Yeah. Um, just be prepared for it. And so the panel only comes in this size currently. It doesn't currently, come in anything yeah. larger. Mm -hmm. so, and it is um, coming out from Hoffman with August delivery. August delivery. Yes. It's available right now on now. our website for pre-order. Yep, pre-order. Um, with that pre-order status, you'll secure your spot, you'll pay for your panel, and then in August, the second we get them, we cut it, package it, <laughs> send it to you. Exactly, exactly. So we got any other questions? No, I think that's about it for now. I'm just okay. excited to be able to show this, to have these to show. Um, I hope everybody loved them as much as we did. Yes. Because we were so excited and couldn't wait to show them to you today. Mm. Um, and both of them, we wanted to make sure we had something totally different. Correct. They're two completely different quilting styles. Yeah. Even if it's the same patterns, mm -hmm. the way the colors work, the way the panels work, the negative spacing, yeah. it's two different completely different projects. Yeah. Completely different. I don't know, and I can't wait for you to do this one here on the bottom for me, so I can hang it in my room. You should do it. <laughs> we'll let her do it. That'll be the next live, <laughs> Diana Quilting. <laughs> hey, we're doing that. Yeah, we are doing that. Doing That's true. Sure. We're doing that in our after hour segment, which is awesome. All right. Well, if you guys don't have any other questions, we are going to awesome. let this one go. Again, we want to thank everybody really quick again. So, yeah, so our quick California. little Ding, ding, ding. Hoffman California Fabrics for these beautiful Dream Big Ethereality panels. Yes. We've got Filtech Cabin Dash for all of the glide thread that you supplied for these. Thank you so, so much. Yep. And then, of course, last but not least, Joyce Lundergan and Joanne Knight um, for their 
instructions, patterns, their instructions, pattern set, yeah. mm -hmm. everything. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. So, alrighty. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Yep. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of the new Dream Big Ethereality panel as much as we did. Yeah, and make sure you share with your friends. Yes, please. Tell them to get on there and pre-order it. Get them, get them. definitely want to see what these look like when you get them and you get them quilted. Whether you use uh, Joyce's pattern or set or you freehand them yourself, whatever you do with it, we want to see what it looks like. We'd love to see it. Yeah. I'm sure Hoffman would as well, so make sure you tag both of our pages in it when you do it. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, from all of us here at Atlanta's Electric Quilters, we will see you next time.